Welcome. My name is Phil, and today we're going to subdivide an area for a bunch of ewes I have down there on the pasture. Today I'm using Premier's ElectroNet system. I've got Premier's IntelliShock 20B Energizer. Got a couple of power posts. I've got three sets of nets here, and one right here. So come on, let's get started. Site preparation begins with throwing your rolls of net along the intended fence line, about every 164 feet or so, or about every 82 feet for the shorter rolls. Don't worry about being exact. If the grass is tall, run the bike over it a few more times to beat down a path. On a new net, simply disconnect the metal clips that come hooked together. Then untie the strings. Sometimes there are two, and sometimes there are three. When you're ready to unroll the net, grab all the built-in posts, stand up, and gently shake to unfold the pleats of net. Locate the first post, the one with the strings, and toss it out over the folds of the net. Before inserting the first net post, be sure you have a support post to connect it to. I'm using a power post here, but any non-conductive post is fine. Insert the first net post and tie it to the adjacent support post. Use whatever kind of knot you feel comfortable with. To unfold the net, grab all of the posts again and walk backwards down the intended fence line. Let the line posts feed out as you pull the net snug. Toss the posts out over the folds of the net. To begin inserting the posts, walk back to the beginning of the net. Pick up the post and insert it into the ground, keeping the net tight as you go. Do this to each post as you move down the fence line. To connect two rolls of net together, take the first post of the second roll and insert it into the ground next to the last post of the first roll. Tie the two together. Once again, any type of knot will do fine.
To make the electrical connection, slide the two metal clips together. Remember, only use low or wide impedance energizers. Old style, high impedance energizers, sometimes called weed burners or weed choppers, can produce a lot of heat and melt netting or plastic fence. Also, never use a continuous charge energizer either. The 20B I'll be using here today will power about four rolls of net depending on the vegetation load. It's a battery type unit, but a battery unit with a solar panel or an AC plug-in unit will work just fine. Remember, always turn off the energizer before beginning the installation process. To connect the 20B energizer, remove the energizer handle. Then remove the lid of the energizer and place the 9 volt dry cell battery into the base of the 20B. Make sure to completely remove the paper from the top of the 9 volt battery. Then pull the leads out of the grooves. On the underside of the energizer, attach the black wire to the terminal marked with a minus sign. Attach the red wire to the terminal marked with a plus sign. Put the energizer lid back on, making sure that all of the wires are tucked inside. Replace the handle, making sure it snaps into place. To set up the support and ground stake, remove the wing nut on the bolt set. Place the straight portion of the spike against the short side of the J portion. Line up the holes, put the bolt through the holes, and tighten the wing nut. To attach the wiring harness to the energizer, loosen the black nut on the energizer ground terminal. Find the lead with the black alligator clip on one end and bare wire on the other end. Place the bare end of the black lead through the hole in the ground terminal, then screw the knob back into place. Next, loosen the black nut on the energizer fence terminal. Place the bare end of the red lead through the hole in the fence terminal, then screw the knob back into place. Push the ground rod into the desired area and place the energizer on top of the support stake like this. Attach the black clip anywhere onto the metal ground spike. Attach the red clip onto one of the metal clips on one end of the net. Turn on the energizer by pushing the on off button. Always check that the fence is properly energized before letting your animals into the enclosure. Netting should have 3,000 volts at all times. Because it's so easy to install and remove, many move netting weekly, fencing the flock or herd instead of the field. So when you're ready to move the net, be sure to disconnect the energizer first. Then, walk down the fence line, starting at the far end, pulling each line post as you go. Hold all of the posts together in a tidy bundle. Drag the folds of the net behind you as you move down the fence line. Remove the last net post after it is untied from the support post.
grab the net post together and give the net a firm shake to help straighten the folds. Finish this step by laying the net on the ground. To tie the net together, start at the folds of the net and tightly roll them towards the bundle of posts. Find the tie strings, wrap them around the roll, and tie the net together. Electric netting should be an important part of your pasture management system. Remember, when you're not using your net, always store it away from rodents or grain. Or, you can just hang your rolls of net up off the ground. If you need further assistance, feel free to call us by phone, or you can visit us at our website. Thanks for joining me.